hello guys welcome again in uh, a grease pencil tutorial today we will change this character to a back character a character that we will look at from the back uh, without uh, rigging it again so we will keep this old rig and we change just uh, the drawing here okay so let's start let's do a vertical split here change this to i think outliner properties these are the uh, the grease pencil layers or object layers here but first we want to uh, spoil our character here so we will duplicate the rig collection duplicate collection nice let's hide the first collection and work on our man here so we select the uh, grease pencil object again and we will check the layers here so there are some layers that we don't need especially the face layers so we will delete any layer that we don't need okay so we have a hand a glass this was a glass water that uh, the guy was holding we don't need it so delete it so we delete again glass what is this full spoon there was a spoon too we don't need a spoon no spoons please it was holding a spoon you see so delete the spoon the head we need the head the ears we need them the hair we don't need the brows delete the brows we don't need the lids pupils eyes nose cheeks lips teeth tongue mouth uh, i don't think that we need the bird the beard the beard the bear the beard hole so we delete the beard hole we keep only the beard on uh, the face the ears the arms there's uh, some kind of bowl here no no bowl so delete the bowl <laughs> body arm and arm and arm so there are two two hands so we delete one we keep only one so we delete this two and this is it i think now we need to uh, reorder some layers like the head layers we have two oh there's another hand here let's delete this hand yeah you see there's a head top and then there's another one so we need this one to be on top of the other so we arrange these two like this the ears we will deal with the ears later but i want to arrange just the feet this this leg here should be behind the other the this leg so this one should be on top of this one okay and the foot too the right leg and right foot should be on top of the left and as you can see it's already you see that this leg is longer a bit than this one but we will fix that uh, with the rig later okay now we want to uh, start with redrawing the head so we go to the head layer make sure you activate the auto lock inactive layers because we are going to edit the shape here and we want to um, do curve editing and if you enable curve editing while uh, your layers are unlocked you risk uh, messing up your weight painting because these vertices when you uh, enable curve editing are going to change and that will mess up your weight painting so make sure that when you are editing a layer all the other layers are locked that applies of course when you use curve editing it is a dangerous mode uh, after you weight paint because it will mess up your weight painting i'm repeating myself but well okay so what we want to do is to close this shape so we hit f oh, it didn't work let's try it again okay so i selected just the, the edge vertice and hit f on the keyboard and now we have this shape okay let's select these two and right click subdivide to add another vertice here nice and uh, i'm gonna click alt s to give some more thickness to this edge voila and now we select the head top here and we edit the shape too i don't think we, we need all these vertices so select these two x d to delete them and just disable proportional editing and voila notice that for uh, the difficulty um, you see here uh, we have the original shape of our uh, guy but our rig was moved from its initial pose so that adds a little bit of difficulty to our task but 
we are going to make it don't worry guys so we made the head and now how about the ears so for the ears this one should be in front here and this one should be behind the head also this one should be big and this one should be small so instead of moving the layers here we are just going to uh, select one ear and then unlock the other ear and then we uh, hit A on the keyboard to select both this disable curve editing and go to stroke no to grease pencil transform no to mirror local X we will uh, put them in the right place after uh, weight painting them after checking the weight painting so I won't bother with that right now we just switch them up we don't need these shape in the middle because we will look at the ears from behind so uh, just select one vertice here hit L to select it all and then XT remove the same here L XT nice I think I'm gonna move the ear where I want it to be so that I can work on my uh, beard here the beard and the, the hair okay so we go to beard I think here we use masking here so you see that it's behind the head so that will help us to work more easily we enable curve editing again make sure all the other layers are locked and now we're going to ease just move this out here and move this one here so once we get everything there I'll here and you can see there's enough to see the numbers move this up very nice and move this like this so if you know how the hair works it will be black here it will uh, stop here and then go above the ear and behind the ear there will come the beard like this okay so what we are going to do is move up the sky and create some arc above the ear and then we take the hair i don't think we need all these vertices so select both xd remove them and, and i think i should edit the hair here yes this is the hair so select this guy and move this a little bit here so that we have a nice continued shape let's uh, hide our lines and see yeah i think it's good maybe just a little bit here very nice and now behind the arc we need the beard to go like this okay so we go to the beard again and we select this guy i think we need more vertices here so we select these two and right click subdivide and we take this one here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what happened so like this mm -hmm. let's add another one select these two right click subdivide here we have another one nice here's the beard showing already let's do one more subdivide okay i forgot something uh, and that is to put the body in front of the head so let's bring the body layer where's the body layer here it is let's disable the curve editing and let's move the body, move the body, move the body. Yes, I hope we didn't miss it. <laughs> With the uh, curve editing, let's check weight paints. Mm -hmm. Vertex groups. Where are the body layers? Yeah, I think we are good. Yes, we are good. Uh, later we will delete some. Uh, let's delete them now, since we are here. So I don't need the pupils grow up. No pupils, no brow, no brow, no lid, no lid. Arms, hand, arms, hand, leg, leg, foot, leg, leg, foot, body, neck, head. Let's delete the mouth grubs. We don't need these, so we have these groups. This way we simplify our work. So again to edit mode and to our body layer and let's delete some layers we don't need so select this guy l x d select this guy l x d select this guy l x d if i said layers they are shapes not layers and just this guy here we want to make the curve the other way like this 
but I don't want to use curve editing so I will use our proportional editing instead so she with the mouse wheel if this on here G, G, G. I think we are good now we will go and start weight painting our stuff let's go to vertex groups and go to weight paint and start from the arms the arm is good the head okay so we want to switch hands in this hand instead of this hand and then switch this hand here okay we do the weight pattern before moving the hands because if you do uh, the moving first and then you weight paint you will find that your hand have changed uh, place so we do the weight painting first and then we move them once and for all so here we do zero I should select my uh, hand layer so one of the hands yes this one I think I'm gonna unlock the other hand too so that we can do one job uh, the same move so you see when you remove the weight painting it changes position it goes to its initial position before rigging and weight paint this guy so weight one and weight painted you see it changes position and it turns to a small ball here okay and now we go to hand r and we do the contrary so weight paint this one so it changes position again and then we change the weight to zero and and paint this one and you see something weird is happening the legs i think are good the feet are good the legs again the feet are good the body is good the neck is good and the head the head is also good but we need to weight paint the new shapes that we made the hat and the hair or the beard so let's select our hats Thank you very much. Unlock it and unlock the beard. Maybe the hair too. Okay, just to be sure. Let's unlock. Uh, our vertex group is selected. Of course, the head, the waist should be one, and then we wait. Very nice. I think we are almost finished. Let's just put the ear in its right place. We could have done that before because it was already weight painted, but. It's not a big deal. So we go to our ear and select the other ear. The other. So we just need to edit this ear. Okay. So back to edit mode. Select L to select it all, and then G and let's just disable proportional editing. G and here. Now we go to the hands. Let's unlock them. You see, we don't seem able to select the hand but if you do a you can select them you see if you select here you select this guy you select here <laughs> you select this guy so let's do that or let's just um start with one hand and then do the other so we'll unlock just one do the a and then we start to move it with g and the moving is a little bit difficult because of the rigging don't do like me you should do your modifications on a rig that wasn't moved from its initial position Let's rotate the hand R like this. So you see, to move it up and down, you need to go sideways, and to move it uh, sideways, you need to go up or down. So here, and once you are close, you hit shift so that your movements are more precise. And like this. I think we are good here, except that the hand is in front of the arm. So let's bring it down. And let's rotate it a little bit. R. Nice. G again and move a little bit like this and then like this. I think we are good here. And now to the other hand. Shift to make your movement more precise. Very nice. I think we are finished here. As I said, it just this this leg is um, behind this leg and it should be a little bit higher than it you see because uh, of of perspective this leg should be a little bit smaller so let's just disable editing mode go to object mode select our rig go to pose mode and here you can select um these bones here and g z and move them a little bit up and that's it 
maybe rotate this foot like this and rotate this foot like this let's try to move our arm nice our hand our new hand works fine how about the head it works fine too very nice how about the spine bones very nice they move the head and everything so this is it this is our modified rig thank you for watching a thumb up please if you want to buy this rig to support the channel it's for five dollars only on gumroad check it out uh, in the description thank you for watching if you want to uh, see the full rigging tutorial uh, without lattice and using rigify uh, easily and and beautifully <laughs> you can check the series also on the channel the rigging series thank you for watching and see you later peace